Good evening and welcome back to The Crust where I think it's about time we connected our four new assemblers up to the belt system above. But things aren't running all that well, to be honest with you. We get no Dura Aluminium in, which doesn't surprise me, Dura Lane, Dura, the, that, that stuff. Um, because it requires rare earth metals. We don't have any rare earth metals. That's the problem. Without the MDR, uh, I'm not really sure how to get rare earth metals. There's some here. Maybe we'll just um, mine out a lump there. Um, I actually um, erase that. Let's make it fiery. I want you to mine out the rare earth metals there. Please, like that. And then hopefully we can get some of those coming in, which will help out. Um, our slag has come to a complete stop, um, which is messing up a lot of things here. These are uh, actually not so bad for slag, but they, um, this is the, 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 some of these have stopped because they've got too much slag in them. Um, and I can't do anything about it. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, the belts just aren't outputting it. There's no, we can't use it enough. I could just store it and stash it places, and I, I know we could just stash it and not worry about it. Um, but um, yeah, no contract complete. What was that one? What's that one? Oh yes, yes. So I just sent a rover on the moon to do a quick mission. So cool. Uh, that requires engineers, and I think let's let's set. Oh, we can't do that. We don't have any people. No, we can't, don't do that. We can't do that. A server hub. Oh, oh, there's a new, there's a new thing on the map. I'm still trying to find the MDR. Um, I'm quite far away. I don't think you can find it. Um, cause I should have, I should have found it, but I've been driving around here. Um, I don't think you can find the MDR. Um, before you build a repeater. Uh, you can obviously research and build your own, uh, which we have done we have enough to actually build an mdr technically so um we could get on with that and start mining ourselves um i don't know what that does to the mission times because um uh oh, sorry i don't know what that does to the mission uh system because obviously ratchet be like hey we found the mdr it's imperative we should go and fix it it's like yeah but we, we built one already we, we've we've got one um so i don't know what that will do interesting to find out i think we'll probably give that a try um Come over here. I don't know what the uh, the large one does, so I'm just going to do this scan over here, and then we're going to tell the rover to go to that new question mark that's appeared. Uh, so do another scan. Not a sausage. Nothing. Nothing at all. So I have scanned. Basically, I went there and I've scanned all around this area here, and the the scanning range is quite large. So yeah, I don't think you can find the MDR. I don't think you can find it before. Um, yeah, so you're going to drive down there which is not the most efficient route to go like this is not the most efficient route to go but that's because your pathing system is based on a grid and then the grid is overlaid on top of a sphere so that's why you get the curvy things so yep <laughs> silly rovers um also don't mean don't remember if i mentioned i changed this um i did this a few episodes ago actually when i, I we was kind of building it and um i was like oh we'll build the rest of it i did it off camera and I changed up how it works, how it plugs into each other. So each one feeds to a refrigerator and the refrigerator feeds down the main line to these here. Um, and then this um, just distributes evenly between the three um, and then feeds up and along. The reason I've done that is because if I tell this to just feed like the first one here, um, it then feeds the first one. And then when the first one's full, it only goes right. It doesn't go left. And then when right is full, it then goes left. So, I thought, no, do you know what? We're going to even it out. And rather than have the storage, the 720 organics be right behind here, so it's got to fill 720 plus 128 before it can move on to the next one, I thought, we'll do it back here. So the buffers are back here, and then these only have to fill to 128 when stuff comes in. So they're running more often. There's not loads of stuff just sat in storage waiting there. Because what, what I basically had was I had one or two of them that had full storage and were running. And the, the rest of them were just idle, just doing nothing. And I had like 1,400 organics just sat there doing nothing at all. This way around, the, um, the, uh, the buffer is at the start of it. 
so it has to fill all the belts up and all of the inventories up before it starts storing goods so yeah um so that makes more sense in my head the layout for this works better um i think this way around having the buffers right next to the uh the farms makes more sense so yeah uh so you're gonna get rare of metals going on down here aren't you yep okie dokie and you've already pretty much gone yeah we've only got two miners so yeah um okay um you are oh, you want repairing that's fine you're not shut down yet um yeah everything seems okay the only thing that kind of annoys me with this game um uh, is uh, I mean these are running at the moment but when you have machines that aren't running it's like these ones I sat here not running they still get damaged over time they still get maintenance I know, I know it's wear and tear but if nothing's running the machine's shut down surely the maintenance should be less often for it it shouldn't it shouldn't wear down as much but I mean they don't use any power so but they don't they, this seems to degrade at the same time as that as, as this does so um yeah it's not like you build a machine and just have it sat there doing nothing um they, they still tend to go down because um I, I built them and i know these have never run uh because the belt isn't connected anyway and there's nothing on the belt so i know these aren't these aren't run also this has got nothing connected to it so um so these have never run um but i've already had to repair them a couple of times see the the, the things down there maybe it goes slower i'm not sure but i have definitely seen them being repaired it's like but they've done nothing they haven't done nothing what well, solar radiation or something i don't know i don't know just uh yeah uh, also um i forgot to put those little bits in there um uh the reasons i do this the outputs like this um uh, is so that when i come to build the next ones i can just tap straight off of it and go uh because if you try and build a uh a belt um into another belt like this it will block the belt so if i was to build this into there even though it's a ghost and that i haven't told it to finish the belt yet it will block this belt it will stop this belt running and then if i cancel it it deletes the belt so yeah so i leave those little end bits on there so that i can just tap off of them and not affect the main line so um that's a really weird thing but yeah uh, this isn't running because it needs micro circuits micro circuits aren't running because we don't have the rare of metals although we have got more coming in now which is nice um so the problem is is that you want one of these whole machines and we are splitting it between two here so we need to have more of these which means we need rare, more rare of metals which means let's build ourselves a we need to build the vehicle hanger and the small vehicle the large vehicle hanger and the, we don't need the vehicle hanger uh, we need the small vehicle assembly factory and the large vehicle assembly factory and they want to go um sort of down here out the way somewhere um i don't want to go too close to the solar panels i've added more batteries down the end here because we actually didn't have enough batteries so i've tapped them in down the end there and we'll just expand this out as we go so let's um it actually can come up to like here somewhere kind of let's get a power line in here uh, doop 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 yeah, boom. and let's put a small vehicle assembly thing here i think that should be enough we shouldn't need more power than what we've got well, we will need more power but we shouldn't need that much power famous last words huh um in fact let's put it above it we can put it above it because it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um we're not doing anything above here we might have one more conveyor come up at some point but let's put you basically uh, one two three let's put you there you can connect to that one you can connect to you can't connect to that one typical oh i can't put them <laughs> that's okay we'll put it there no one ever know okay fine yeah boom. okay uh, right so we can't build this because it requires micro circuits other than that we can build it which is surprising okay uh and we can't build this because it's going to require uh control units which we don't have although we do have half a million credits so we can probably buy some control units in let's let this fit up a bit. oh we also need composites as well these are two things we're not making 
<laughs> um, no, we're not making them because um, if I go to uh, the high tech factory, um, uh, composites require nanotubes and uh, control circuits require. Um, okay, go away, don't do that. Um, we are making those things, aren't we, though? We've got nanotubes, yeah. We're nearly full on nanotubes as well. Hmm. We could tap into these and go up here with uh, that. We don't need to run the bus any further. Um, because uh, we, we this this is fine. This is fine. We don't need to go any further than this. Um, we'll just build down here. And then I think the two that we need to do up here, we'll build up here, go onwards. Um, ignoring that. And then these will come out. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, which need to come out to uh, go upstairs to the elevator. And the elevator is were doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, here. <laughs> so they've got to come way back. Uh, are you finished? You are finally finished. Hurrah! Hurrah! Okay. Also, it looks like you're finished as well. No, you just are turned off. And you're also turned off. Okay. But I think we can get rid of these belts. Yeah, let's get rid of these belts. Oof. There you go. And we can redo the belts at a later date. Which means we can put the belts from this coming along here doop, and into this guy here, which is kind of awkward. It's kind of... I'd like this to get done as well, if possible, please. Um, it's got 200 units. Oh, so that will be done very soon as well. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, we need... So, right. Let's, let's do this. So... Uh, you go along before you come back. So that's, that's, that's this one here. Okay. So you want to go along. So we want to prioritize that way. And same for you. Prioritize that way. Prioritize that way. And you can't prioritize that way because we can't get any belts in there, can we? We can, but we don't need to because modular frames aren't used in anything. In fact, I don't. No, modular frames aren't used in anything, and I don't think um, these three are, aren't they? Um, let's. Uh, um, uh, we need two of these. Two of these, we just need two inputs. So let's uh, rotate them around like that. So we're going to come back this way. Okay, so let's come back to here. So we can avoid that. We'll go around that. We'll come up to here, and we'll go one there. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, because it's got three belts. So I think six should be enough. Boom, there you go. And then you are going to do uh, composites, and you are going to do uh, control units. Okay. So you want dual aluminium there, and you want all of those. So no, none of you want modular frames. So that's fine. So that means the modular frames don't need to prioritize. They can just go straight upstairs. They split to here and go straight upstairs. Do I need modular frames to build anything? Well, probably. Yeah, so we'll leave that there. But these ones want to go um, along, up, and back along here to these guys. Right. Now what? Get rid of those bits like that. Okay. And what we'll do is we will go... Um, let's go under this one here and pop up. So you're going to come out and go along. Might need to move these. <laughs> might, not, might not be enough space here. Um, what can we do here with this guy? One, two, three. Nope. One, two, three. So you can have two if you do that. Oh, that's very awkward. So if we put one there and one there, that's very awkward. Yeah, these are going to have to be... Um, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll move them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. We'll move it down there. Boom, there you go. That can then come up and go wherever it wants to go to there. That's fine. Um... You 
people will come up and go up to uh, oh, I don't know where you're gonna go actually because um, we're gonna have multiple of these aren't we yeah we're gonna want multiple of those that's just that's 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 how can I do this I can come right down and between no, we'll do that we'll do that okay we'll go this way and we'll run it down like that and it will run along here to plug into somewhere um but it's but the belt's down out of the way so it doesn't matter uh, these ones are going to have to come up above this and then along here which means this might need to be pushed back because i don't think there's enough space here um one two three four five no there's not space here. so these need to be pushed up although uh they could technically come up and go through these and come out here that would make more sense so let's do that so um let's uh they don't have to follow the pathing path the standard pathing path thing so so let's go um let's go from the top one here and you can actually go past that so so you're gonna come up you're gonna come along this way um you are technically the one that doesn't need to be here um so, um, but we're going to run you along. Okay. Um, it is, it is, I think it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do that, cancel that. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have the Mark III um, underground belts? I can't remember. So that's 4,700 to build uh, a um, belt. And it's 6,000 to put in the underground belt. So it is actually cheaper. When using Mark I belts, it is cheaper to run a belt rather than, um uh do the undergrounds for it so okay has this run out now this has run out now but it's a bit yes awesome cool get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that that helps Oop, no, no. You plug into that. Okay, cool. Right, um, and then all I need to do is these ones, when they come up, they have to be one away from it so that we can at least... Um... Oh yeah, I cancelled the belt, didn't I? If you're going to do it on a ground belt, you might as well make it as long as is possible. Okay, so you plug into there. Beautiful. Uh, nope, nope, nope. You don't plug into there. You plug into that one. <laughs> and you plug into that one. Like so. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, so all the underground belt things that I did here, um, if they're Mark 1 belts, I can't remember what, what belts these are. Are these Mark 1s? I think they're Mark 1 belts. It's all a waste of money. All a complete waste of money. You could have just run actual belts. Mark 1 belts out. If you go to Mark 2, that's when it becomes worth it. It becomes absolutely worth it. So let's build that. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, um, you've seen this all before. So if we, if we go with a Mark 2 underground belt from here to there, See, it costs 7,000. They're 3,500 each, cost 7,000. But if I drag a belt from here to there, see, it tells me under my cursor, it's going to be 4,250, 14,250. So it's half the price to do the underground belt. So Mark 2s, it makes sense to go underground. Mark 1s, it doesn't. Stay above ground. So, so this is all a waste because this is all Mark 1 belts, I believe. Yeah, it's all Mark 1 belts. So shouldn't have done this. Shouldn't have done this. Should have, uh, should have gone with just, just the belts and then done the undergrounds when I needed to do the undergrounds to go through. Um, would it look clean as well? This looks messy to me. This looks very messy to me. Um, so if I'd have just done a, the belts through and then underground, yeah. Yeah. But oh well. Oh well. Oh well, such is the way of things. Uh, right, so you will come down to, let's say, there. Uh, you will come down to um, uh, there somewhere. 
you will come down to here somewhere and we need to connect you all up to this thing here so you're going to come straight down and plug into there and you are going to come down th there ah damn it i keep pushing the wrong button uh keep clicking the wrong place um and then you want to come down where that power line is which is very awkward but um I could do I, we want to redo the power lines here anyway they are messy and not the line all kind either so um let's run a power line up from here You go into there. Uh, you need power, but you can get power from. Uh, well, we need to power these as well, don't we? So we need to run a power line down here, but I want to run it in between these. Does that run in between them? I think it does. Awesome. Uh, 10, 11, 12. So you can connect to these ones here. Don't know why I'm counting. Doesn't make any difference how long it is. Um, you can run a power line up there and then to that one. Uh, you've got a power line going up and around to that one there. Cool. Okay. And, and then uh, this one here uh, wants to come down and sit on top of... Uh, no, actually wants to sit here, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's run this one along to here. All right, you want to come out and go down to the back of this guy. No. That okay, go to there, and then you're going to come along and plug into here somewhere. Um, maybe there, <coughs> yeah, let's plug into there. Boom, there you go. Okay, this is stupidly fast belt considered to what this is. Uh, have you have you stopped? You stopped as well, haven't you? Yeah, cool. Let's shut you down. Awesome. Another one gone. Another one back to dust. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Uh, we can power these on whenever we want to. Uh, these can be done here as well. Okay, right. Uh, we can't build this because it needs modular frames. Oh, mod module, module terminal, sorry. And we're not getting module terminals because we have no micro circuits. And we're getting micro circuits because they are... Splitting, coming along here. They should come down here. Hello, 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 hello. I see you. I see you. I bet I've done that in many places. I have to double check if anything else is running out of uh, things that it should definitely have. I'm not saying it's got that many, that many micro circuits, but there should have been some coming down here by now. Yeah. Okay. Fuel factories don't have any ice because the ice is backed up because of the um, uh, slag problem. That's going to shut down our carbon fiber if we don't fix that very soon. Um, how do I do that? How do I do that? Uh, I could store... Do we have... Is there, have you got the mission up here to take away some slag? I'd really like to... No, you got fuel. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, not connected. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, that's fine. Um, we're not using enough slack. That's the one. We're not using enough slack. Uh, so, um, what do you want? 50. We've got that. That's on the moon. It's 200,000. I can accept that. Um, because we have... Um, we have a spare rover, although I bet you our spare rover is not um, anywhere near the base, even though I've told it to come back to base. Oh, no, it is. It is back to base. Awesome. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. Uh, let's also see what the uh, rover found over here. Uh, what did you find? You found a server hub. It wants engineers and it will give us rare earth metals. We want to do that, but we don't have any engineers, so we can't do that. Okay, let's go down to the extraction complex and um, yeah, uh, right. So... Yeah, we're not getting enough silicon in in order to keep the um, 
the thing running for that. So, what's this? This is iron. Uh, this is silicon. Titanium, titanium. Oh, what's, why is this all backed up? What's this? Titanium, titanium? Yeah. Urgent contract, what do you want? 100? We don't have any. Sorry. I'll do it. Um, I think we'll do. Let's just put in more swords. I, I hate doing this. I hate doing this because it... It's like you're just dumping it to one side and ignoring it. And I really hate doing that because I don't want to dump it to one side and ignore it. I want to use it all because I know at some point we'll want to use it. But... Yeah. Um, let's just do this for the moment. Uh... We can't build the big ones. We don't have the resources to build the big ones. Copy, paste, paste, paste. There you go. And you can just fill them. Um, okay. Uh, and then once you fill them, I suppose we could just turn the the belts around back in them if we if we need them to come back again. So yeah. Kind of where I wish I'd, I'd off. I could do that. We could offset that one over here. Have the two to come down. Go this way first, and then if they can't go that way, go back that way. Um, what can't you get? Components? Why no components? Because of... Uh, because they're all being used upstairs to build these. Hey! Hey, look at this! We've got this. Awesome. So next time we shall build ourselves a rover. Um, and uh, we need to get some stuff in. So you're using all the components up, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Buy some components in and not worry about it. Uh, but I think we shall leave this one here. Um... So every time I come to buy components, they change. They change the weight of them. They change, make them heavier. Um, uh, what well, is on here? We shall come back next time, and we shall continue from there. Where everything will be awesome and wonderful and fantastic, and there can be much rejoicing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again next one. Until then, as always, have fun.